Wolf, I'm joined by Tona. She's actually an economist, and she's been here. She was just telling me um, from the first day that the first tree was being torn down. Let me ask this. The situation has changed so much since then. How did you guys who were here at the beginning adapt and learn how to deal with all of this? Well, you learn. I mean, uh, I never stand in front of the police before. Uh, I'm not an activist. I mean, I, uh, since like I was 14, I just stopped some t people to turn down series again uh, when I was 14. And since then, I have never been an activist. But this time, it seems that the NGOs and non-governmental organizations, they asked to stop this. Uh, but it seems without any permission, they started like at 1 o'clock on the 27th night, uh, turning down the trees. And then people started coming in, and I came here on the 28th morning, and in front of us there was the police. I thought within three days the government officials, I mean the municipality and, and so on, they would come and talk to the people and just settle this down. But it seems uh, that these, uh, let's say, these government official uh, uh, situations, they do not work. And obviously the situation right now is escalated to such a degree where it's about a lot more than, than yeah, the part. After, after the third day, uh, the Turkish media was a blackout for six days and we started calling CNN, BBC and United Nations and so on. Well, the people who spoke English very well, we started writing to them and we wrote some letters to the EU. And after that, after the sixth day, uh, everybody understood, I mean, the international press, and they understood that there was something going on here. So you heard the prime minister speak earlier um, yes. today. What is the solution to all of this right now? How does this end? The, How the does solution is to speak to the people, basically, to speak to the people and say this park belongs to the people of Istanbul and it's settled. And of course, after the sixth day, it became very, very political because there were so different parties. They were suppressed so much. And it seems that the government never listened to them and tried to solve their problems. Uh, then every every organization joined this situation basically but it started as a very very innocent nature protecting uh, activity basically how does it make you feel uh, to see this happening in turkey i mean this i'm assuming is unprecedented uh, in your lifetime well it feels very unsecure at the moment i mean i trust my friends at the moment and nothing else because the government offices they do not work they cannot find any solution and it seems the international uh, organization Organizations, they cannot find any immediate solution at the moment, and I'm very, very sorry for this. What do you think is going to happen next? Where, where, where does the country go from here? Well, uh, I think somehow, somehow it will settle down, but uh, we have to find, I mean, all of us, all of us, all the citizens, not only the government offices, all the citizens should sit down and join these NGOs and tell the government what they would like to have in this country. Uh, it's not a matter of suppressing people. They have to listen, listen, listen. Thank you so much.